I lied. Straight up lied. I'm back in there about three days later from my last video. Said I wasn't coming back in here, but I'm back in here. Got back from work a little earlier than I thought. Something about having two encounters with the same deer. I think it's the same deer. Having two encounters with the same deer and not getting it, it's just bothering me. So we're gonna work on this tonight. Taking my time, Walking real slow through here. We'll try to figure this out. There's no excuse, I should've I should have killed a deer by now. It's kind of, kind of bumming me out, but well, it's all right. We're gonna get it. That's old. There's another pile over here. Okay, <clears throat> I'll give y'all a little breakdown of why I'm actually here on my way out. Hey, Gorn. So, on my way out, uh, last time I hunted here, when I said I wasn't coming back, there was a doe bedded not 30, 40 yards from the tree that I'd hunted that morning. And uh, anyway, I jumped her out of the bed. Uh, which kind of sucks, but anyway, so I kept that in mind, and uh, a few days later, here we are, got a cold front, what a perfect north wind, and uh, it's just like dominant in my face right now, so what I did was I came back in here to the spot where I had saw that bow dip, that doe bedded that evening, and uh, there's poop like everywhere, like even more poop than I had found uh, in that spot that I was hunting. And at first I was a little concerned because some of it didn't look fresh at all. It was dry and hard. And I ended up finding two uh, that were still mushy and green on the inside. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it looked like it was maybe a day old or something, maybe two days old. And uh, there is a bed. It doesn't look like it had been used very often. Uh, found a little bit of hair in it and uh, so I backed off of that downwind of it probably 20 yards where all this poop in this bed is it's, it's hunting aggressive but this is a small piece of public and uh, I'm ready to just kill something honestly which is probably isn't the way to go about it but Anyway, I'm pretty fired up about this spot right now. I may have walked around a little more than I wanted to, than I felt comfortable walking around a spot that I'm about to hunt. But all I can hope is these rubber boots on this dry ground like this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I feel pretty good about this evening. Every time I said that so far, I've been kind of wrong. Let me just give y'all a quick update. <clears throat> it's way past dark. I had at least two deer come within bow range during shooting light, but they were in this thick stuff to my left where I figured the deer would come from. And they started right around me. I never even saw them. But they sounded like, I mean, if this stuff wasn't here, I could have killed them. But uh, there's still another deer right here somewhere not far turn my light on i can't see it i've been waiting on it to leave and it ain't leaving and it's getting late so i'm about to just roll out educate him a little bit but ain't nothing else i can do i'm getting hungry up here in this tree i'm out and cold all right so last night when i was in here Last night when I was in here, the deer went, the direction I was facing, they went left, no, right to left. 
I'm getting here kind of late. That's why I sound all frantic. But they went right to left. So I cut around, try to cut them off tonight. I'm trying to figure out where exactly they walked. There's fresh acorns like that have just dropped probably today right here. And there's a bunch of tracks. Now normally I'd be fired up about this, but I'm just not seeing where they're actually eating these acorns yet. Maybe they just haven't found them, but they're definitely traveling right here for some reason. It kind of follows that same transition that I was talking about last night. Um, it's this big soft spot right here. It's like a little old branch that goes on for a while. And my wind is good to hunt right here. But right now I'm just kind of focused on finding exactly where I want to be. Um, so I'm going to do minimal walking right here because that's where I messed up last night. I think that whatever that was caught my damn ground scent last night. But we're taking them from the backside <laughs> tonight. So uh, we'll see what happens. About to pick a tree real quick. and we're going to hop in the P-Rose and go try some new public land we've been talking about for a while. That ought to be interesting. somewhere I'm going straight into this short stuff right here if I can get over this little hump I'm having some issues right here with the Piro I've hit hard ground but it's just an island knob I don't want to fool myself and think I can start walking right here if you see the cypress trees go up a little bit right here so here I could probably walk on all this and drag the Piro but once you get up there I can tell water gets deeper According to Google Maps, that way there are trails that whip around towards where Jace is hunting over here. Other than that, I don't see anything else promising on the map, so I might start heading that way. I didn't bring any hip boots, all I got is knee boots today. That's all would be interesting. That's the end of the damn pier. I gotta push all the way out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so, I'm out on the edge of where these short crepe myrtles or whatever it says starts. On the edge of this marsh, that little bit open, more open marsh. And I'm walking through here, headed towards some trails that I saw on Google Maps. And I found this little island knob right here. So I walked over here. I mean, it's actually a deer bed. There's deer hair in it and tracks. Check this out, I'll show you. There's deer, deer hair all in here. A track. 
track going off that way. That's a good sign right there. Right now, I'm headed that direction. There are the tall cypresses right there. That's all I want to make it to, or that clump. On Google Maps, there's a bunch of trails that come together right there. This is good stuff. We up here. About time. Piro is probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards to the uh, west. I came up this little ditch and walked straight east, northeast a little bit. And I found that bed. That bed's probably 20 yards to my right. Downwind. Which I'm not too concerned about that. But when I came, when I started coming this way, I crossed another bed, and there was there's trails all through here. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna climb up a tree right here. It's the first day in here. And now that I'm up here, I've noticed something. Straight back to where I came from. It's more open. Straight out in front of me is a bunch of crepe myrtles. Straight here to my east. Well, that would be to the north right there. Uh, it opens up again, but right here where I'm sitting, it's like, it almost looks like the crepe myrtle's neck down right here. And there's more island knobs than there were back where I just came from. And it looks like it gets real thick even further, the further that way you go. So... I'm either in a good spot or I might have stopped too short. Maybe the further that way I, I go, I might start to see more sign, but there's trails right here. And there's another island knob over here. It wasn't a bed on it, but there's a track crossing it and the trail went right over the little island knob. Who knows, this, this could all be nighttime activity or up here where I'm looking straight ahead of me, or it looks like there's bigger trees back in there. Could be deer feeding in there and they might be coming back out here to bed, I don't know. I'm probably gonna get down. It's been about 45 minutes and head further east to where it gets a little thicker up there. There's a fresh rub right about 20 yards to my uh, north. And the wind's kind of switched up. Chase has moved around the back of me and went north. The wind's kind of switched up. And I kind of feel like I'm down a little bit. It's just not really where I want to be. So I'm going to go a little further east and get past him to where the wind, his wind is blowing behind me. Huh. Seen a few beds. Seen some a couple trails, a run. They got deer. Out here on Pearl River WMA. Yep. Alright, so I know I didn't do an interview on the way over here, but what Jason and I did, we didn't find anything too promising on that public land this morning. So we came to uh, his brother's house. His brother has permission on about 800 acres right here behind his house. And when we came to scout, uh, Chase has actually scouted here a few times. I've only been here once with him. But last time I was here, I found this big group of white oaks. And there's probably a dozen in here. And I just found this green daddy right here. It 
looked like it fell. Nothing to eat in it. And it's not rotten. There's a bunch of busted holes right here. Back over my shoulder. Looks like old sign, but the deer were tearing up. The white oaks back there. And uh, But there's none on the ground, so I'm assuming they either have eaten them all, they're eating them as they're dropping. I have no clue, but the ground is tore up like they've been eating them. And I wanted to find a tree that had acorns next to it just to verify it. And this one does. Damn, I shouldn't eat that pizza. So I'm going to back up a little bit. I think I see the tree for me. I'm going to climb that and sit here this evening. It's a perfect wind for right here.